Hi, I'm Ron Schwartz, and I'm the scenic designer for someone who will watch over me at Irish Classical Theater. What we got here is my, basically my scenic model that I usually make up for each production that we do at the theater. Since the theater is in the round, um, unfortunately it's very hard to do a rendering which renders the space in a uh, way which is discernible at times, so I like to do a half-inch half scale model to give the actors and the director an idea as to what they're going to be playing on. Uh, what you'll see here is the set that I'm proposing for someone who will watch over me. Uh, it basically takes place in a prison cell in Lebanon in the uh, mid-80s. Uh, so what I wanted to do was to really come up with a feel for the show that would give us a good sense of isolation and also a sense of danger because these gentlemen have been kidnapped and are being have shackles in the uh, actual uh, set itself that the guys are going to be attached to the set with. Uh, the gentlemen really never have a sense of whether it's day or night, so we've introduced a couple of light sources into the room. We have little bare hanging bulbs uh, to help kind of give a glint off of what their, li their living conditions, which are very poor um, in here. Uh, it's a very dirty cell. Um, also, to give it a good sense of danger, there is blood stains on the floor. There's a great center, stand center of the space, which uh, will have the residue of the previous occupants or whomever, even the gentlemen who are in there, that have been sprayed down with, with a hose. and kind of trickled into the space and God knows because we are in the round uh, here in Irish Classical um, we really can't do much in terms of large scenery on stage because it would block the view of the audience. Uh, the walls are very low to kind of define where the room is and also gives a sense of that, that we are in a, a heavy um, masonry structure of some sort. Um, the floor is a concrete texture itself. Uh, you will notice in the, in the shot here that the, you do see there is some light spill uh, which would be from this light source through our what would be our prison door or barred door into the room to kind of give us a nice moody feel at times uh, that can come in and out as our lighting designer wants it to. Um, because of the outer space outside of the room in order to create a very nice feel of isolation there what I've proposed to do is to not only just black out what's out there but also to add a bit of a star field uh, in a a UV reactive paint, so it's not always there, but every once in a while we can pop on some black light and kind of pop that out and kind of give us a kind of like out in the middle of the cosmos feel, real isolated. And a lot of the research that I did into this was into more of the uh, prisons of the Middle East. Uh, I looked at Lebanese prisons where in Lebanon, where, which the play is set in, um, trying to get a feel for those. I also looked at uh, Israeli prisons, also in Abu Ghraib. Um, just wanted to get a real feel for the conditions, the harsh conditions that, that prisoners are placed in. Um, and also the, the whole idea of being kidnapped and really just this, this very um, malevolent feel overall in there. And also because we are in a more sandy kind of confines here, um, I wanted to make sure it had a real feel that we were out in the desert or even in a cave or somewhere where these guys are locked up. So it's a, a lot of a heavy texture and a lot of granular feeling over most of the stuff. Also, the, we're going to paint all the scenery from their view. It's this, largely from the prisoner's view, so all the actual real textures that they see are based on what they would actually be able to see in terms of the walls, the floor, just outside the door, but not much further because they're limited by being chained up and also being into a cell on their own. So, and that's my design for uh, someone who watch over me.